Governor Ron DeSantis spent his day in Iowa, where presidential candidates usually kickstart their campaigns. But he has not officially announced a bid for the White House yet. Fox 35's Craig Patrick shows us what he said to voters up in the Midwest. You know, I always tell my legislators, you watch Iowa, watch, watch these, do not let them get ahead of us on any of this stuff. He cited his re-election victory in setting up a likely argument for why he could be the most electable Republican candidate for president. Miami-Dade County, which is our biggest county, urban county, Hillary Clinton won it in 2016 in the presidential election by 30 points, and we won it in 2022 by double digits. He cited the changes at New College to illustrate his vision for shifting higher education to the right and in diversity programs. So I, I appointed six conservative trustees. Uh, they came in, they fired the president, they hired a conservative president. And he cited Michigan's Hillsdale College, a private Christian college, which claims the far left is rewriting history as the model for what he has in mind for higher education. Similar to Hillsdale College, but our own public liberal arts. He repeatedly attacked what he called the elites, particularly on matters of COVID that merit some context. The elites were wrong about lockdowns. DeSantis didn't mention that he ordered a lockdown at the start of the pandemic, but he did lift it before other states. They were wrong about the efficacy of mRNA shots when they said if you take it, you won't get COVID. On these points, while he did not specifically define they, the nation's leading health experts did not say you won't get COVID, but rather it reduces the risk, and especially the risk of serious illness or death, which is what DeSantis repeatedly said when he promoted vaccines in 2021. And these vaccines make it so that your chance of survival is pretty doggone close to 100%. Uh, we've seen between a 70 and 75% reduction in mortality. My message is the vaccines protect you. Get vaccinated. Yes, there are positive tests among vaccinated. At the same time, uh, the mortality and all those all the data is very, very clear. It may not mean you'll ever test positive, but I do think the severity has been lessened. In 2022, DeSantis ousted Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren. We had a fellow funded by Soros in Tampa said he wasn't going to enforce certain laws, so I removed him from his post. He is gone. And he touted the state response to Hurricane Ian and then related it to what will likely be a driving issue in the Republican race for president. I will send my Florida people who built those bridges in record time, I'll send them to the southern border to do the wall. Just put me in, coach. Craig Patrick, Fox 35 News.